this is where we're going for breakfast today is Monday they have some serious good food and I'll show you my plate when we get it I almost forgot I had four eggs and a side of bacon this is three strips of bacon this is what's left when I remembered I forgot to get a picture keto chow prep for the week I have one ice cream in the freezer Brian has none so for him pumpkin spice caramel Mix with cinnamon toast collagen. These are all perfect keto collagens. Birthday cake with vanilla collagen. Fruity cereal with vanilla collagen. And mine, chocolate malt with vanilla collagen. And chocolate with chocolate collagen. Also black cocoa powder and some allulose. Yep, you all know I'm about the chocolate. <laughs> but yep, these... Last week, Brian ate three ice creams for the week for his meals at di at, in the evening. He is enjoying it. It does not affect his blood sugar. Thank you, Chris and Miriam, so much that he can have something that does not affect him. Hello. Tonight, I am going to experiment with a recipe I got from ChatGPT for coconut shrimp, which is also the dish I'm supposed to be making when I'm cooking with Chris in about a week and a half. So I've got to test this recipe. I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna use. This was created by ChatGPT. And then I will put it on my website. So of course we need shredded coconut, two eggs, some coconut flour, almond flour, paprika, garlic powder, that's Redmond sea salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, which is optional. They get fried in coconut oil and of course shrimp which I already have some in a colander thawing out. It's going to be a quick thaw because, yeah, that's what I do. And I'll show you as it's cooking, and then I'll show you the end result. Here are the shrimp that are finished, and over in the skillet are the ones still cooking. And this is what Brian's having. Four lobster tails. Him and his lobster. These smell really, really good. There's Brian's dinner, four lobster tails. Ooh, I can't, I can't. <laughs> and he's got melted butter coming. And here's my dinner, that coconut shrimp that I just talked about. I haven't tried them yet, but they smell good. Okay, here's the shrimp. Again, it's coconut shrimp recipe by ChatGPT. Those were good. If you like shrimp, this was so easy. Today's first meal. We had some errands to run this morning. It was crazy. But went to Aldi's and I said to Brian, I want to get a strip steak for our first meal with some eggs. So he picks up two ribeyes. I'm like, nope. Put a ribeye back and I that's what he's got here. One pound ribeye and two eggs. And I have a New York strip with three eggs, 10 ounce New York strip. First meal today is Tuesday. Some, some prep for the week, some bacon. Did the keto chai yesterday and after this, I'm gonna make a loaf of bread. Not sure which one yet, but I'm gonna make a loaf of bread. There's the bread, fresh out of the oven. This is Neely's recipe for her butter powder bread. Just decided to go back to the basics, which are hers. <laughs> Today's dinner is turkey breast, a slice of Swiss cheese, and this mayonnaise, and this is my egg white bread that I made earlier today. And that's dinner. Wednesday's first meal, three eggs, and the leftover steak that we had, I cut it up and air fried it just to heat it up, and they were good. It is... 1 30 and later on after the live stream we'll have ice cream yes wednesday's dinner mocha keto chow mixed with black cocoa powder chocolate collagen and as a mix-in chalk zero white chocolate chips zaxby's chicken fingers is what's for lunch today is thursday this is our first meal and yes i know they're breaded but 
it could be a lot worse. Hi, it's Cindy. This morning, Brian and I went out and we stopped at IHOP before we went bowling for breakfast and I forgot again to get a picture of what I ate. I had three scrambled eggs in butter with cheese and four strips of bacon. For dinner, a while back I had asked ChatGPT, my new best friend, to, <laughs> to create a recipe using diced turkey breast, colorful cauliflower, in a casserole. And I will post the recipe on my website, but I want to show you the end result. This stuff smells good. It looks good. Woo! Here's the end result of this. This is all different colors of cauliflower with turkey breast and a cheese sauce topped with cheese. And then I threw some pork rinds on it, which the recipe didn't call for. But whew, it just came out of the oven. We'll be eating this after the live stream that starts in about 35 minutes. Friday night's dinner. Turkey and cauliflower casserole created by ChatGPT that once I get back for the week from the weekend, I will put it on my website that it smells so good and I am so hungry and it is 9 p.m. and I'm going to go eat. Saturday's first meal out in Owensboro getting ready to bowl in a tournament. Went to Burger King and had a double Whopper with cheese. Everything but the bun. You just saw Saturday what I had eaten for my first meal before our bowling tournament. And I had gone with this other lady. Saturday night after the tournament, we were going to go to Texas Roadhouse. It was absolutely packed. We could not even get in the parking lot. The next door was Chili's. And, you know, they have a lot on their menu. And so I decided, I decided to get a quesadilla. And I know the tortillas aren't the best, but let me tell you, this thing was packed full of chicken, bacon, and cheese. And I had a ranch dip for dipping. Uh, we sat there for an hour waiting for our food. And they were busy but it didn't look like they were that, that busy but holy man in the beginning when we sat down they said would you like any chips and salsa we both said no no she's not keto and uh that's fine we waited and waited and waited and finally our server came back over she said would you like some chips and salsa while you're waiting i don't know how much longer it's going to be so we were hungry like sure that's fine and I did eat a few chips with salsa and I go lie it was good I haven't had those in four years the quesadilla came finally oh my word it was so good and like I said it was packed full of food and it was chicken bacon ranch quesadilla so we went back to we went to the hotel because we had to get up and bowl again at nine o'clock in the morning well, we had the continental breakfast at the hotel. I didn't get pictures of any of this stuff. I had what they call eggs. <laughs> they were okay. I put a little bit of gravy on top of them. And they had sausage patties that looked like they were, or they tasted like they was turkey sausage. But, you know, it was free. It's like, okay. So we went, we went bowling. And I had brought some purse bacon with me, so I was still hungry. So I'm snacking on bacon. And this lady was bowling in the lanes next to us. They have all kinds of snack food in there, she says to me. I said, I don't eat sugar. And what they had in there for a spread was glazed donuts, brownies, fig bars, and God only knows what else, and coffee. Well, I don't do coffee either, so I had my own stuff. I said, I have the better snack. She says, protein. I said, you got it. So we finished ball. We had about six games. It was singles event and doubles. Um, I did really good in doubles. Don't ask me singles. It, it wasn't too good, <laughs> but I survived it. And six games is quite a bit. So then we headed back. It was three, three to three and a half hour drive. We stopped at a Shoney's to eat on the way back. Again, I didn't get a picture, 
Um, I they had an all you can eat bar for like twelve ninety nine. They had scrambled eggs, which were really good. Bacon, sausage links. They also had fried chicken, and I did get me one drumstick, and it was good. And after that, I after I ate that plate of food, I got a salad, and that was really good. Um, every once in a while, I just want a salad. I don't eat a whole lot of vegetables. You don't see very many on my meals at all. Uh, if you watch me for any length of time, it's usually meat and or eggs. <laughs> and that's it. Or keto chow. And the end of this week. So, talking about keto chow. Starting today, November 1st, through November 25th, if you order a subscription, you will get early Black Friday deals. I don't recall having Black Friday deals with Keto Chow. I could be wrong, but this might be a first. So if you use my link that I put in the description, there are two different subscriptions you can get. The surprise box, which is anywhere from 20, 30, 60, 90 meals per month, uh, or you can opt for every other month. You get 20% off every box and they choose your flavors. That's the whole thing about a surprise box. And you get other little additives in there like recipe cards and stuff like that. So it's really cool. The other way you can get a subscription is to choose your own. It's called a custom box. It's an increased discount as you go. Like your first box, you say 15%. Second and third, it's 17%. And the fourth and on and beyond, it's 20% as long as you don't pause the subscription or cancel. And both options, you can pause or cancel at any time. Um, like, I've had to go every other month because we have such an abundance of keto chow, but I do choose our own. I got the surprise one for a while and that was okay. Um, but I'd rather choose what we're getting. And I do choose in those choices. I do order some recipe cards as part of my order. And you can get electrolytes with that. You can get so much. But again, if you order, the sooner you order, the better <laughs> the Black Friday deals. Between now and the 25th, sign up for a subscription. Clicking on my link, which will be in the description of the video, as always. And you know, I'm a big keto child lover. I, I The product, the people, everybody is great. But the best way, I mean, celebrate your holidays, staying on plan, with Keto Chow is so easy. It's easy to stay on plan with Keto Chow all year, but with the holidays, it can be a little hairy. Some people really struggle. So don't be on that struggle bus. Get you a subscription to Keto Chow. Click on my link. You won't be disappointed. There's got to be at least one flavor that you like because they have a ton of flavors and they're all really good. Most of all of them I like. If I don't, my husband does. So <laughs> we're good with whatever comes in this house because one or both of us is going to like it. And there's so much you can do with Keto Chow from shakes to ice cream, waffles, pancakes, baked goods. I mean, savory foods. They have some savory flavors too that they're getting rid of. So you might want to double check. They're getting rid of their creamy tomato basil and their spicy taco. If there's any left, you might want to grab it quick because it's being discontinued. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and subs it, subscribe if you haven't. But like, share, comment, because I do reply to all comments. It's the best way for me to get recognized. The algorithms with YouTube and all that stuff. Stuff. And I don't usually say anything about all that because everybody else does. So, you know, there's that. Anyhow, enjoy. 
and I will be seeing you on Wednesday with Brian on the live stream, but you'll be hearing from me as a reminder about Keto Child subscriptions. Don't miss out, save some money, because the people say that Keto Child is way expensive, but I can't go out to eat one meal for $5.50, I can't. But if you take that packet of Keto Child and you make waffles with it, just for instance, three eggs, a cup of shredded mozzarella cheese and one serving of Keto Child, it gives you so many waffles, I don't think. And I've, I've eaten them all. When I did a keto, week of just Keto Child, I would make my meal waffles and it makes like four or five, maybe six waffles, chaffles, whatever you want to call them. But it's filling, it's delicious. It has a third daily vitamins and nutrients per serving. And where else can you go and get that kind of great product for a great amount unless you're always, always, always cooking at home. And even that, the meats are so expensive these days, it's hard. But Keto Chow is, it, it, if you have a sweet tooth, it's there. Anything. I mean, it's just a fantastic product. Check out the subscriptions. You won't be disappointed. It's the best way to save money on Keto Chow and you know, a little bit every so often doesn't hurt anybody. People that might want to do it, use it every day. I did it for a solid week and it was great. It was great. Didn't disappoint. I did like three different things every day. I did a shake, I did waffles, and I did ice cream almost every day for a week. It was fantastic. <laughs> anyway, have a great one. And I will see you soon.